Hey friends, welcome back. This lesson is titled, Happiness is found in trusting awareness. So when I say the word seeking, when I talk about seeking, again, I'm not addressing the undeniable impulse of creation calling to all of its portions to seek more of its own creator, to seek more of its own union, to seek more of its own potential, to manifest more of its own potential, etc. That is a beautiful impulse. We cannot get rid of it. And generally we call it desire. And it's a beautiful force. It's meant to be part of life. In fact, the absolute one has the desire to generate experience of itself. Otherwise this would not be here. So even the absolute has desire. It's an absolutely primal force of creation. When I talk about seeking, I'm talking about that excessive, overly intellectualized, attempt or need neediness to find the sense of ease soothingness well-being inside of things and inside of ideas and concepts and practices and religions and spirituality and teachers and teachings inside of ideas that cannot by definition give you what you're looking for okay so by seeking i mean the relentless helpless hopeless seeking that has no fruition that has no accomplishment that has no true um, results or benefits except for the fact or except for the moment where the seeking becomes so exhaustive that it stops because it can't sustain itself because it recognizes its own illusory chase. So to simply shortcut that right away without you having to burn out completely, let's continue to address the idea of seeking through the understanding that what you are seeking for is in fact already present in awareness because all things only gain their beingness from awareness as we saw in the previous lesson no things have beingness of their own only awareness or existence gives beingness to appearances appearances don't exist in and of themselves only awareness generates perceptions that's all there is in this universe awareness generating perception of itself in a certain way in a certain configuration of we should say or we could say energy so given the fact that all there is is awareness generating perception inside of its own cognizance, inside of its own intelligence, using its own energy, its own presence energy, we can also understand that happiness is found in awareness because everything is. The end of seeking is found in awareness because everything is. Everything is found and founded by awareness. So happiness is found in specifically let's say trusting awareness or relying on awareness or resting in awareness it's a similar thing it's the same thing basically in a different in a different uh, from a different angle so what i want you to um to attempt for this lesson is to understand first of all that you are seeking to some extent most likely if not that's absolutely great and you can ignore these words but let's say you're seeking for greater happiness I want you to realize that the foundation of happiness is found in the changeless. It's found in the stability of your own being being known to you. And what is your own being? It's literally beingness or I am or I, I, I awareness, the spacious, empty, free container of the contents, which are generated out of I am or presence energy. So happiness is found in I am and or in I, I because that is your true being it's the changeless states those are the changeless states of your beingness they can always be recognized because it simply refers to your actual being itself not just a particular state or configuration of energy it actually refers to the to the actual i exist to the actual existence of awareness and presence itself so that is always where you'll find, that's always the, where, you, where the reset button, where the starting focus starts you at. It's the I'm right here, I'm right now, this has never left me. It's about noticing your own beingness, noticing your own existence, noticing your own awareness, to be always already here regardless of your thoughts, regardless of your emotions, regardless of your state of mind, regardless of the state of your circumstances, regardless of the state of your finances, regardless of what sensations may be going on, regardless of what other people think of you, regardless of other people's feelings, 
you are here right now, regardless of past and future, regardless even of the present, awareness is always already the case. It's always already true. It's always already changelessly available and supportive to you because it's who you actually are. It's you. So since you are the substratum of all that is, since you are therefore all that is, to find happiness means to realize where to find it first of all, which is obviously inside of yourself, which just so happens to be the only place that exists and happens to be the only place that you've ever experienced. But now you make that conscious. Now you start noticing and reflecting upon awareness itself. And notice that awareness itself feels, although it does not have a feeling of its own, it's not limited to a feeling of its own, but to recognize the formlessness, the essence of awareness itself, tends to release certain types of qualities or feelings into the perceptive experience of yourself, your sense of I am. Some of these qualities are ease, restfulness, relaxation, relief from your previous mental assumptions, um, just peace, a general state of peace, freedom, maybe even joy or bliss or excitement or ecstasy. But these are what we would call ecstatically good feelings. So by resting as awareness, by trusting in awareness, by relying on awareness to be your source of happiness and joy and well-being, it will show up exactly as such. The more you trust in awareness, which is another way of saying, the more you place your attention on awareness and know in your heart that this is where you'll derive your stable, underlying, ever-present sense of I am okay even more than okay, but let's at least gain that sense. I am always okay, no matter what perceptions this awareness generates within itself out of its own beingness. So regardless of the perceptions that I awareness generate within my own view, I as awareness will always be I as awareness. And that is a restful, easeful, soothing state of conscious recognition. And so I can always rely on my recognition, on my trust in awareness. So I want you to gain more trust in awareness. And whenever you find yourself strivingly seeking, not just excited about things, because that's amazing, that's great, that's again the natural desire of life. But when you feel you're getting stressfully anxious about attaining certain things, or changing certain things, or deleting certain things from your life, removing certain things, etc., then that is the perfect moment to hit the reset button. What is the reset button? Take those two to five seconds of absolutely clearing away the sky of your mind for just those two to five seconds or more if it naturally happens, but it doesn't matter. Just two to five seconds is enough of a state of clarity to see past the clouds and back into the spaciousness of sky-like awareness. So trust that. Trust that reset button. Trust in awareness. Trust that you find your absolute stable well-being in I, I, or I am, either way, or both different tastes of the same type of freedom, the same changelessness, the same always already here-ness of your true existence. So the homework of this lesson is to write down any reason you can come up with that makes you not trust awareness. And then to write down all the ideas you have about where or how you'll find happiness in anything but resting as awareness. So any ideas you might have regarding how or when you'll find happiness or what you'll feel when you'll find happiness or what you're supposed to chase or achieve, just write these down. And also write down if you, at, at all, some people don't, but if at all you have mistrusts regarding awareness providing for your happiness, and by now you may even feel like, nope, I don't believe that is true anymore. I believe that the changelessness of this clarity, of the spaciousness of freedom, can indeed provide me with a fundamental sense of okayness at the very least. If you already believe that, that's fine. You notice that there won't be any mistrusting beliefs regarding awareness being able to provide your sense of I am beyond, I am free, I am happy, I am able to choose how I feel, I am rested, I am at ease, I am more than okay, no matter what appears inside of my awareness. So if you already feel that, then you don't have to write down any mistrusting thoughts because you won't really have any. But then just simply write down the ideas you have regarding, oh, this is how I'm going to achieve enlightenment or, or 
happiness in general or well-being or okayness and it has to look like this and I have to do this and da -da -da. write down these perceptions these misassumptions of whatever still remains of your seeking tendency to seek for happiness in the appearance of things even though now you've already realized in the previous lesson that things only consist of you so all you're searching for is more of yourself and that can be found by resting as you already are perfect and then indeed place as much of your trust in awareness and you'll notice that as you write these things down something starts to shift so just notice that shifting you start writing down the things that you're still seeking for and you notice that an ease comes upon you and that is the ease of noticing the silliness of chasing certain things when you can have the absolute freedom of I am aware Again, very important, this does not mean you ought to suppress your desires for certain things, even if those things are very materialistic in nature. That's absolutely a part of the joy of the Creator expressing Himself, itself, herself. However, when it comes to the seeking type of thoughts like, oh, if I'll only change this, then I'll be okay, then I'll be happy, then I'll be safe, those type of thoughts you write down and you start to see how silly it is. Because as you write them down, you start to notice that there is an awareness and a spaciousness and an ease totally already present and available to you writing down all those reasons why you are not yet happy and what that happiness will look like when you find it and what you need to go through before you can actually establish it. Okay. So you'll start to notice effortlessly as you write down those cute and silly and sweet and logical reasons that they're actually not that logical because what you're seeking for in these things is already looking at these things. So again, what's looking is looking for what's looking. So look back into the looking and be free in that way. Listen to this lesson a couple more times before your next lesson opens up or before you choose to move on to your next lesson. And continue up with any type of resting as awareness meditation of one of the previous lessons. Do a couple of these meditations and as always, or yes, as always, like always, keep uh, most importantly, inserting those two to five second moments at least 12 times per day, ideally 25 or so, of recognizing the clarity, the freedom, the spaciousness, the emptiness of I am already okay right here as I, I, as awareness. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Have fun.